up guys, it's Stubbs here, welcome back to another episode of GT5 Project Drifting, and in this episode, I wanted to do something again that's different uh, because of a couple of things. Um, now a lot of people are asking me, how do I drift, blah blah blah, how do I do this, I obviously have tutorials on my channel on how to learn how to drift, if you guys haven't seen them, um, there should be a link on the annotation on the screen or something to bring you to, to like a drifting video or something if you want to learn how to drift. Now the the point of the project drifting isn't so you guys can go and comment on every single one of my videos to ask for the car that's in the rest of my videos as well. Like I have people asking me in Top Gear Challenge to give them that car, in uh, Time Attack Battle to give them that car, and in this to give them like the car that's in this episode. So project drifting is the only one that I'm actually giving the cars away in. And um, don't bother asking me in any other episode because I'm not going to answer you. And it'll just be a waste of your time and a waste of mine as well for me reading it. So in this episode, I actually want to give you guys a very easy car to drift with. Um, it's probably the easiest car to drift with in this game. And um, it's going to be the Art Morrison Corvette, which is already tuned. It has 725... Uh, sorry. <laughs> it is 725,000 credits. And uh, I think the limit to sending a car is a million now, this car isn't in the DLC or anything, so this should be very, um, you know, legible to, to send to people. So I don't think it should be a problem. If there is a problem, I'll check it out and uh, I'll make sure, like, you know, I don't put up this video um, until, you know, I can actually give the car away. So um, it most likely will be able to, to, to like, get given away, but whatever. So this is going to be the, the, the base car of what we're going to be using to, to modify slash tune for drifting. Now this car is already tuned, just to give you guys a heads up, so um, this is going to be a very easy, easy, easy car to to modify and tune for drifting because it is probably the easiest car in the game to drift with, as I have said before, because a lot of people used to set uh, um, you know records in Prologue when the Carrera Speed 6 wasn't out, and that's what they use in this game now, and sorry, Speed 12, not Speed 6, because the Speed 6 is kind of shitty. Um, the Speed 12 is one that they used, and um, they're getting really, really high scores. And most of them, uh, pretty much all of them, use a steering wheel for that as well. So they have a lot of control over the car and a lot of control over the throttle as well, instead of just using a controller. So, um, yeah. So let's change the oil on this. Because a lot of people are, are getting surprised. Why do you change the oil on a brand new car? Because it gives you more horsepower. Simple. You change the oil on every single car you get instantly after you get it, and you get way more horsepower if it lets you. Now, there's sometimes where you can get like a uh, um, not a supercar, um, a racing car that you won't be allowed to change the oil in because like it's completely brand new, or else you win it as a gift. And I don't think you'll be able to change the oil on that. Um, so you might have to use it up a bit, and then you can change the oil. So everything else should be fine. I don't think I'm allowed to change anything else. Oh, I'm allowed to change the wheels. I'm not going to change the wheels, I like them the way they are, the original ones on the car, and, uh, oh, I didn't know you can change the paint job on this. If I paint it red, would that make the, the little, like, panel on the thing red as well, or what? Because there has, as you can see there on the door, and at the front panel, there's, like, you know, the white bit. I hope that doesn't go red, so I'll try it out. Actually, no, the interior is red, so I'm not going to do that. Yo, I'm not going to paint it at all. You guys can paint it whatever color you want. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm not going to paint it at all. So, I'll just go out of it. And you guys can change whatever the hell you want in your um, in your car once you get it. So, I'll tell you guys when I'm on the track exactly what you need to do to get this car. And, uh, and that's about it. So, I'll see you guys when I'm finished buying everything for the car. And I'll be in the settings on the track, so I'm just gonna fade it into there. Alright, so now that we're in the settings, I'm going to show you guys how to tune the suspension. And uh, that's pretty much it, because everything else is already done under here. Um, just lower it a lot. Okay, I don't really like too much camera at the front. Um, a lot of people, they like, put insane camber of, like, 4 to 5, and I just don't like that. I, I can't seem to control the car like that, especially with a controller. Like, so I, I prefer um, pretty much almost stock on the front and a little bit at the back. Um, oops. 
Things the opposite way. There we go, and now transmission is all set to a six speed uh, close ratio. And then we have the, sorry, the tires, which are comfort hard tires. And everything else is just already bought for the car, so I didn't change anything else. So, let's take the car out on the track, and I'll show you guys exactly how good this car is with very, very minimal tuning. As you can see, I've al I already have an Arc Marcel Corvette, which I got 26,896, and that's from messing around a lot. Um, so if I was to take that car out and like properly go around this track, I might even get up to 30,000. Alright, so I kept messing up on a bunch of runs, and it's most definitely my fault that it isn't the car's fault, because I kept going way too wide, or else I kept going, going way too far in, and I, it was just my fault. It wasn't the car. The car drifts absolutely perfectly. And um, let's hope that this run is not going to be full of fail. Let's try that. Shall we? I'll take it a little bit slower because I haven't driven one of these cars in a while. I'm being quiet because I'm actually concentrating so I don't lose control of this car again. See, now that I'm doing this lap, I'm not getting as many points as I did before in the previous laps, which is kind of annoying, but... Whatever. Oh, yes. That was a fail. I'm most likely going to get 20,000 points, but also this is a fail lap. I got so many points in the previous laps, and it's, this is just shitty. I left fell out all my points. <laughs> I'm just gonna do just one more. That was good, that was good. It's going much better now. Uh, I should have kept that the whole way. Or tried at least. You think we can get more points? Just I think we are. We're gonna get more points. I'm not gonna beat my record, I can tell you that, because I can't get 10,000 points in this turn over here, in this corner. Or bend. Come on. Damn it. I really have to get back into drifting. I haven't drifted in a while. For points, anyways. God, I'm losing my mind. I'm constantly drifting here. I just forgot that I'm actually recording this. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. The way to win this car, all you have to do is just leave a comment. You don't have to subscribe. You don't have to uh, leave the video a like. You can leave the video a like if you enjoy the video. You don't have to like it because you have to win the car. All you have to do is just leave a comment if you want the car. And um, if, let's say, you didn't get it in this episode, then make sure you keep up with my videos because next week I'm going to put up another episode with another car. And um, again, it's going to be the exact same thing. All you have to do is comment and then you might be able to get the car next week. Now, the reason for project drifting is so I can actually show you guys the drifting setup for the car as well. So if you guys don't win the car, maybe you have one of these. You want to tune it up for drifting. All you have to do is do the same settings to your car. And uh, you can make your car simply the exact same as this one, even if you didn't like win the car. So um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time.